So, welcome back to the Premier League Predictor. This is week number nine and the games are coming thick and fast. The first game sees West Ham United taking on Brighton and Hove Albion on Friday night. Now, West Ham United conceded a goal late on against Burnley, which cost them three points. And they did have 10 men in that game because Andy Carroll stupidly got himself sent off for leading with his elbow twice in the space of a few minutes. Brighton, they conceded a stoppage time goal against Everton, which will also cost them three points. I see this being a boring game, which could potentially see Slaven Bilic getting sacked afterwards. But with that being said, I do actually think West Ham are going to nick a victory in this one. I am going for West Ham United 2, Brighton and Hove Albion 1. Moving on to the next game, that sees the early kickoff between the current champions Chelsea who unbelievably conceded two goals against Crystal Palace in the last game and ultimately lost that game. They are taking on the team that beat my team, and that is Watford. Watford proved to everybody last weekend what I've been saying for years, and that is that Arsenal have got no cojones when it really matters. But normally what happens when a smaller team plays two bigger teams back-to-back -back is in the second game they normally get taken apart. I don't see that changing in this game, and I am going with Chelsea 3, Watford 1. But I did predict Chelsea to beat Crystal Palace last time out, and we all know what happened there. Moving on, the next game sees Huddersfield taking on Manchester United. Now, Man United bored the living shit out of us against Liverpool at Anfield, but full credit to Jose Mourinho, he went and parked the bus, he got his point, and he moves on. Huddersfield, they lost their previous game, they lost to Swansea, and they're slowly showing us exactly why they are newly promoted. They started off really well, they got a couple of victories under their belt, but they are starting to collapse, and I really fear for them right now. They need to stop the rot, and Man United is possibly the last team they want to face right now. I can only see this going one way, and that is a Manchester United comfortable victory. So I am going with Huddersfield nil, Man United 4. Manchester City are taking on Burnley at the Etihad and Man City look in scintillating form. They absolutely smashed Stoke City in the last out in 7-2. And Burnley, yes, they may be confident because they nicked a, a point against West Ham late on, but they were playing against 10 men. And let's be real, Man City are always going to be winning this game. Although I have called a few wrong in the last couple of weeks, this ain't going to be one of them. I am going for Manchester City 5, Burnley 0. The next game of the weekend sees Newcastle taking on Crystal Palace. Newcastle, they drew 2-2 with Southampton last time out. Crystal Palace, as I've just said previously, they beat Chelsea, the current champions. Now, I think this will be a boring game. I think it's going to be close, it's going to be tight, and I'm going to see this out as a 0-0 draw. I think both teams are poor going forward. They're also quite poor defensively, but I think they'll just play it out as a 0-0 draw. And Crystal Palace will be over the moon with that. They've stopped the rot against Chelsea. And if they get a point against Newcastle, their fans will be over the moon. The next game of the weekend is Stoke City taking on Bournemouth. Now, Stoke City got absolutely spanked against Man City, as I said a few minutes ago. Mark Hughes must be absolutely seething. And personally, I think he's bang under pressure to start getting it right because they have not kicked on the way everybody at Stoke thought they would do. Um, they've spent an awful lot of money as well, and I think he's under a lot of pressure. Now, Bournemouth, they lost 1-0 to Tottenham at Wembley, and actually gave Tottenham their first victory at Wembley in the Premier League. But I do think they will lose this game, and I think that Stoke will win 1-0. The next game of the weekend sees Swansea taking on Leicester City. Um, Swansea beat Huddersfield out last time, and Swansea have stopped the rot with that, really. I mean, they haven't really ripped up any trees this season. And I think they're bang average. And I am surprised if they stay up this season. I think they're poor. Although, that being said, I think they have got a very good manager who has worked with one of the best in Carlo Ancelotti. But I see this only going one way. 
and that is a Leicester victory. Leicester got their manager sacked during the week after their 1-1 draw with West Brom. Riyad Mahrez um, was sat on the bench in previous games. He actually started that game and he scored a goal. Now, they drew one all and Shakespeare got sacked after the game. Now, I think that's a bit of comeuppance for him. I think what goes around comes around. He was vital in Cl uh, Claudio Ranieri getting the sack. And it's a case of karma is a bitch, mate. Yeah. Now, as always, a team that get their manager sacked, they are, the next game they ultimately go on and win. I am going for Swansea 1, Leicester 3. The next game is Southampton against West Brom. Now, Southampton drew at home 2-2 with Newcastle in their last game. And Southampton have been poor. He is not getting it right down there at the minute. Something's not quite clicking. And Tony Pulis, well, say what you want about Tony Pulis. In my opinion, I think he's a good manager. Um, getting a draw away to Leicester, although it's not the best result in the world, I think they're quite a good outfit and they'll be more than safe this season and finish high up the table. I am going with Southampton 1, West Bromwich Albion 2. Uh, the next game of the weekend sees my team Everton taking on... My team Everton? Jesus. Fucking hell. Wish my team was at Everton right now. My team Arsenal taking on Everton up at Goodison Park. Now, I'm going to do a preview for that game on Friday, so keep your eyes peeled for that. And the last game of the weekend sees Spurs taking on Liverpool at Wembley. Now, Spurs must be buzzing. They got a win at Wembley in the Premier League in their last game against Bournemouth. And Liverpool played out a 0-0 board draw at Anfield against Man United. Since then, they've both played in the Champions League. I do think this game is going to end up a draw. I think both teams will cancel each other out. And I don't think Liverpool will go gung-ho against Tottenham because Tottenham can be dangerous on the break. So there's my Premier League predictor. I am going with all of them results and let me know what you guys think. I got most of them wrong last week. I will probably get most of them wrong again this week. But that's the Premier League. It's so unpredictable. Subscribe, like, share. Let me know what you guys think. Keep your eyes peeled for my video tomorrow after Arsenal play Red Star Belgrade. I'll be doing my review and that will be up straight after the game. And keep your eyes peeled for Friday because I will be doing my preview for the Arsenal-Everton game away at Goodison Park. Laters, peeps. Thank you.